Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem one dash thirty seven. So the statement of problem is the plate has a width of point five meter. If stress distribution at the support varies as shown, determine the load P applied to the plate and distance D to where it is applied. So you can see the figure. This is a plate, and there is a uh, load that is varying, and the stress is given as. 15 into x power 1 by 2 megapascal, and this load is varying and applied to the fixed uh, fixed support at the bottom. So you have to find this force as well as the uh, location of this force from this end, which means you have to find D. Clear? So it is also given that width of the plate. I will draw the side view. The width of the plate is. 0.5 mm. So this width is 0.5 meter, not mm. This is meter. So first we will draw the free body diagram. So I will draw it first, and then we will solve this. So this is the plate. Clear. There is a load P that is acting at this point. So this is load P that is acting at a distance of D from this end. Also, if this is the x direction, clear, and the load is given as varying load, clear. So I will draw it like this. So this is a varying load, and this load uh, is uh, given as sigma is equal to 15 x power 1 by 2 megapascal. So if I take a small element of this force, for example, if I take the force. Small element. So this is the small element, and this force is known. Is this force is let this force is D F that is acting on this plate, and this force is at a distance of x. X is any distance from this side. Clear. So this is a small element, and the force acting on the small element is D F, and this the thickness of this small element is. dx this thickness is dx so what we will do is that uh, uh, this is origin origin point so we will solve this uh, uh, in order to find the value of p so the resultant force df of the bearing pressure acting on the plate of area da so this is small element so its area will be equal to da And this area will be equal to width of this plate, which is 0.5, and thickness, which is dx. So it will be equal to B into dx. This small area is equal to B into dx. Clear? And that if you put the value of B, B is 0.5, so it will be equal to 0.5 dx. So this force will become equal to, as we know that stress is equal to. force per unit area so here we have differential force and differential area so therefore we will have this df will be equal to bearing st stress into differential area f will be here and sigma into a will give you the differential force now you have the value of stress which is this one clear so i will put the values 15 into x power 1 over 2 and that is mega pascal so i will convert into pascal so it is in 10 to the power 6 and da is equal to 0.5 into dx so again if you solve it further so df will become equal to 7.5 into 10 to the power 6 x power 1 by 2 into dx so this is the value of differential force that is acting at a thickness of at, at a distance of x from this point o over a differential area da now we will apply equilibrium condition in order to find the value of p so for that we will apply the first equilibrium condition that sum of all force along y direction is equal to 0 
in taking upward force as positive so here you can see there are two forces acting vertically one is p and the second one is this force so i will write p is downward so it will be negative plus this force is upward so this is a differential force so in order to find the net force we will integrate this differential force so it will be equal to d integral of df their sum must be equal to 0 okay so you have to put minus p plus integral of you have to put the value of df which is equal to 7.5 into 10 to the power 6 x this is 6 x ki power 1 by 2 into dx is equal to 0. Again, uh, since it is differential, so you have to take limit from x is equal to 0 till x is equal to 4 meter because the force is acting on a length starting from 0 to 4. So, 0 to 4 minute. So, when you solve this integral, this 7.5 into 10 to the power is constant, it will be outside an integral of 1 over 2 will give you x 1 over 2 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 2 divided by uh, 1 plus 2 plus 1. So, when you solve, this is very easy, you can do it. So, when you solve it, so you will get p is equal to 40 into 10 to the power 6 newton. Or you can say that it is 40 mega newton so this is the force that can be applied to this plate now we have solved this so what will about the position of this force or location of this force from this x is equal to 0 so for that we have to find d so for equilibrium condition equilibrium in order to bring this plate in equilibrium We will apply the another equation of equilibrium that sum of all moments about point O is equal to 0. So let's apply its point O is equal to 0 and taking the counterclockwise movement as positive. So you can see one force is producing clockwise movement that is P and P is acting at a distance of D from this O. So this is one movement. So P into D is the first movement and it is clockwise so it will be negative the second movement that is produced by this differential force about point o is df so df into perpendicular distance is x so as we are going to find it uh, the whole uh, effect of this force so we will integrate it so f df into perpendicular distance is x clear i will show you this is df and this is x and it is producing counterclockwise movement again we will take limit from 0 to 4 because this force is varying force and it starts from 0 to x is equal to 4 their sum must be equal to 0 now you will have the value of df which is this one you can put it minus p p minus p is a uh, P is 40 mega newton so it is 40 into 10 to the power 6 multiply by this d plus integral of 0 to 4 df is equal to 7.5 into 10 to the power 6 x power 1 over 2 into dx clear and perpendicular distance is x okay so this is force and this is x their sum must be equal to 0 when you solve this when you integrate this term clear it's very easy you can do it there is a d and when you solve it you will get d is equal to 2.40 meter so we have find out the location of point p to bring this uh, plate in equilibrium so this d must be equal to 2.40 meter it means that P must be applied at a distance of 2.40 meter from this end. This was a very easy problem. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you.